lovely Wednesday with writing. So today in writing, we are continuing to work on our informational writing skills. Last week, we started researching and writing all about dolphins. And we were doing it all together. We did our research together, we practiced writing, and you guys did a really awesome job. But to make sure that we can even grow our skills and make them bigger and better, we are gonna practice researching again today. But you are going to be an independent researcher today. I'm gonna to guide you and remind you of the process, but you are going to be researching a sea animal on your own. And I'm super excited for you because we know the better our research, the better our writing will be. So it's super important and awesome that we get to practice researching again. So of course, that's going to go into our learning target, which says, I can research an animal and record new facts in my notes. So again, we're researching and practicing writing down everything we learn in our notes. So last week, how you used your notebook to record our questions and our notes that we learned, you're gonna do the exact same thing. So make sure you have a nice paper or notebook out. You're gonna use that at the end of our lesson today. We're gonna be doing the research and note taking again, but you are gonna be in charge. So last week, like I said, we all were researching dolphins. But now, you have the choice between three other sea creatures. You get to choose which of these three you would like to research. And your choices are an octopus, a seahorse, or a hammerhead shark. You get to pick of these three, which one would you like to research? I like them all because I think they're a little bit funny looking. And so I think they're extra fun and you get to make your choice. So of these three, no matter which one you pick, today we're all gonna be working on our research. That's all we're focusing on today, getting all the super awesome information we're gonna need to draft our best paragraph possible. But we need really, really strong, awesome research in order to do that. So today, I'm gonna be walking you through and reminding you of the four guiding research questions that we use to research an animal. So, they're gonna be the exact same ones that we used before, and you're gonna write them in your notes the same way. But right now, I just need you to pay really close attention as I explain how you can use these questions to guide you and how you can pick out information from your reading that's going to answer each question. So, so let's see. What's the first question we are looking to answer? What does this say? What does it look like? What does your animal look like? When you're looking to answer this question, you can find information in your reading that talks about the size of an animal. How big is it? Or that talks about the shape of the animal. Is it long and skinny or is it round and fat? Or talking about the color of the animal. Is it more like brown and black? Or is it colorful and yellow and red? The size, shape, and color of the animal all answer the question, what does it look like? And as you're reading these stories, you might see titles or headlines in the book. And those headlines, depending on what they say, are gonna clue you in to the information you're about to read. So if you're about to read, what does it look like? You would see a title that might say, description. They're gonna describe the animal to you. Body, what does their body look like? What parts is it made out of? Or appearance. Something's appearance is what it looks like to others. So appearance is a great
great vocabulary word when we're talking about what something looks like. So these are our all clues you might be able to pick out of your reading when you're looking to answer our first question. Okay, what about our second question? How can we answer, what does it say? Where does it live? Where does your animal live? When you're looking to answer this question, you can look for information such as where in the world? So what's the exact place? Does it live near the Arctic? Does it live in warm waters near Australia? Or does it live here near the United States? Where in the world can tell you a lot about where the animal lives? Or what kind of home does it have? What is its home made of? Seaweed, rock, sand, just water? What kind of home does this animal live in? That's information that can answer this question. And as you're reading, some titles that might clue you in to this living situation is habitat. Habitat is a vocabulary word that talks about the kind of place an animal lives. It's habitat. Or environment. The environment an animal sets it up in is where? What does it have? So habitat and environment are two big clue vocabulary words when we're talking about where does it live. Okay, there's a lot of awesome clues that you can take with you as you're answering our first two questions. Okay, but before we keep going, let's give ourselves a little break on this writing lesson. So stand up, and I have a yummy question to ask you. It made me really want some. Would you rather have orange juice or apple juice? Both of these sound so good. So orange juice, you're gonna move side to side. Apple juice, you're gonna move front to back. What do you want right now? Hmm. I really want some orange juice. So I'm going to move side to side. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Good job moving. Okay. Come sit back down. Get those big listening ears on. And let's keep chatting. But what about those second two questions you're going to answer? What is our third question? Can you read it? What does it eat? What does it eat? When we're looking to answer this question, we can find information about the food. What's the exact food? Is it other animals? Is it plankton, crabs? The food the animal eats. Or how it eats. You might not have thought of this before. We, we eat with our mouth and a fork. Some animals, they eat with their tentacles or their hands, or they just grab their food with their mouth. Some even eat with their stomachs. So it's up to us to find information about the food or how the animal eats. When we're looking for this information, we might find it under a title that says eating habits. Not habitat, that's about where it lives. Habits. A habit is something that someone does again and again. So normally animals, they always eat the same kind of food. So their eating habits would be what do they eat every day? Or we could see the word diet. Diet is a word that says what kind of food does this animal like to eat? Their diet. So these are some clue words you can look for to find any information that would talk about what does it eat. And super scholars, last but not least, what is our bigger fourth question? It says, What other facts are interesting? So this is that big 
big section where you can include any other fact that didn't fit the other question. This could be a lot of things. But just some ideas could be the family life. Or what are babies like in this animal? Do the babies live with their parents for a long time? Or do these animals live alone? Do they live in groups? That's a great interesting fact. Or are there different kinds of animals? Is there only one kind of octopus? Or around the world, are there different kinds? Is there only one kind of shark? Do every seahorse look the same? What differences between them? That could be another interesting fact you could find. This is a really, really big question, but these are just some ideas to maybe get you started. So second grade, these are the same four questions we're gonna be using, but it's gonna be up to you to research them. I just wanted to get your gears going and help you think about how you can tackle these questions. So everyone's going to be working in our EPIC website to find your answers to all this research. Okay, second grade, just like we worked last time on our dolphins book, you are gonna log on to EPIC book to access all the information you need to do your research. So I have shared all these books with you. They are either assigned to you or in your mailbox and in each animal that you have the choice of, there's two books. So we have two books on hammerhead sharks, two books on octopuses, and two books on seahorses. In these books, you're gonna find all the information you need to answer your four research questions. And all of these books, as you can see in green, can be read to you. That means if you're having a little trouble, that's okay. There's that green circle button that if you press it, the book will be read to you and you can find your information that way. So once you've made your choice of your animal, you're gonna head over to Epic and I have the password in our assignment and you're gonna read the two books that correspond to the animal you chose. After you've read the two books that I've assigned to you, you can go and find other books if you would like more research. But only after you've read these two. But of course, you can go reference any other book on Epic about the animal you chose. While you're researching, you need your notes with you. Because you're going to stop reading, stop the book, and write down your information as you're reading to make sure it's really nice and fresh and you're following along. So your notebook is going to look just like mine, Super Scholars, and just like last time. As you're reading on Epic, you are going to fill in the answers to all your research questions. I have each question nicely written apart and I have bullet points ready to jot down my notes as I read. So before you do anything, you really got to make sure you set up your notes. So as you're researching, you can just quickly fill in all the new facts you learned. So this is the first step before anything else. Set up your notebook, then research and answer the question. Once that is all done, and you have as many details as you possibly found, because better research leads to better writing, when that's all done, then I want you to take a picture of all your notes. Not just part of it, because all of us are answering all four questions. You're gonna take a picture of your entire page of notes. Show me how much new information you learned. I can't wait to see. So you're setting up your journal, then researching and note taking, and finally showing me your work on Class Dojo. Okay, second grade, I have all the faith in you to be independent, responsible researchers. So get your notebook.
notebook set up, head over to Epic, and I can't wait to see what you find.